Welcome to Move More Today. My name is Lisa Byrne, and in this video, we're going to get down onto the floor. A couple of really simple exercises and movements that are going to help your shoulders, your back, and your hips feel really good. Sometimes we just miss them because we're looking for that bam. We're going to keep it simple today, so come on down. Okay, so just getting into a comfortable position on the floor, feet shoulder width apart. And then begin with your arms aside of you, just taking them up above your head, exhaling as you come down. So this is more about opening up through the rib cage, even into your armpit muscles. Then it's going to take a change here. Take your arms up and begin sweeping as if you're pulling in air to your side. So here's an inhale, exhaling. And then this changes. Thumbs are apart from each other, pinkies together. Open those arms up and just tap the floor with the thumbs. Big inhale, exhale. It's all great for the shoulder area and the chest, rib cage. Meanwhile, your shoulder blades lying down on the ground. And then we change here to the lower half. You want to get those legs and those feet wider than your shoulders with your feet angled out. The whole idea is, is when you begin to bring that knee in, that that thigh, as you can see, is going straight out. So your knee is pointing straight out. You're going to roll onto the inside of your foot and just breathing into that space into the thigh. And then as you switch, just noting that same thing here, you're rolling onto the inside of the foot. So you can stay here for as long as you want. Now the change up here is going to be just easily reaching one in, not holding it, and then the other. So it becomes a little bit more dynamic, really good into the hip area, into the groin and the hip flexors. And then the last variation here is a little bit more of a stretch. And what I do here is I lift my foot off so only my heel is pushing down into the ground. I'm reaching out through my kneecap and down into the ground with my leg and really trying to exhibit a real good stretch into that thigh area. So again, same thing here. This feels really great. A lot of people remark about this. So that your foot would come off as much as you can bring it off of the ground, drive your heel in, and really reach that kneecap out away from you The next one here is all about grabbing on and letting your hand hold on to the leg. Make sure your hip flexor is relaxed. And as you do that, flex your foot and take an inhale, extend that leg out and back in. So you get a wonderful stretch all through the groin, the inseam of the leg. You want to remember to keep your shoulders and your hips square to the ceiling. And then we take that leg and with your other hand, just a gradually, you're going to bring it across your body. And you're going to gradually just let that leg, lower back, rib cage, everything kind of just sink into its own stretch. And then we'll repeat it on the other side. The thing I varied here is that other leg, if it doesn't um, if it is not comfortable for you to put that leg straight out, just keep that other leg bent. Same thing here. Let the leg rest into the arm. So your arm, your hand is actually holding on to that leg. You want to allow that hip joint to relax so that you can get that stretch through your inseam of the leg. And 
And then we do the same thing here, just gradually bringing that leg across, grabbing it with the other hand, and letting it relax. And you're just sinking into that movement, just allowing it to be whatever it needs to. <laughs>